And he'll make his way to the 18th tee. A little bit of a wait there as they finish up. But Rory McIlroy looks like he's about to win his fourth major title. Still some work to go. Well, the 18 again, it has been Eagle today. And if Phil or Ricky make a run at a three here, can't give away that Wanamaker quite yet. Twice Eagle, 44 times birdied today. Uh, but again, he has to stand back and buy some time. Well, these players don't, Ricky doesn't really have the option. These guys want to thread it up there between the uh, water on the right, bunker on the left. All right, Ricky! Which I believe he's done. Okay, well, I'm down in the fairway and I can't see the ball taken off, but I can see it land. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, he's hit two strong drives after the. Missed tee shot at 16 that led to the sensational par from the 15th fairway. And yeah, now Mickelson will try to go deep. Uh, Jimmy, our cameramen have their irises wide open. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it looks a lot lighter than it actually is. Mickelson, eagle here on Friday. Feels just, yeah, look at squinting. Fine. Just in the fairway? It's, it's in the okay. fairway, yep. Good shot. It was a big hit with that, uh, wasn't the driver. I think. Oh, they actually. Maybe they'll play a, a foursome here on the 18th. Well, I think that. They're going to let him hit up. How about that on the last hole of a major? That is amazing. Bet you haven't seen that before. No, I really haven't because I was, you know, um, not that Rory would get the option, you know, because if he could see what Ricky Fowler did, if there was a huge, if Ricky hit a great second shot to, you know, inside 10 feet, there's a huge roar, he might be thinking he's going to make a three. Get to 16, watch and then your strategy. But Rory's so confident with this drive. It, where if it was me personally, I would probably take the percentage of thinking I might go, you know, three wood short of the bunker player. But the other option that. And yeah, we need to get some people out of the way here. Well, one of them is uh, is Phil and, and Bones. I don't think they've been told yet. Here they go. Yeah. To alert them. But well, they, they sort of yeah. have the right so what, to be there. When you say, no, why don't uh, so just go ahead and do it now? So we yeah, stand they should just the do it now. They should just do it now. Well, we'll get everybody to the bottom of the bridge and that'll be fine. Yeah, why don't you radio back and tell them to be ready in 30 seconds because we'll move up to the side here. Ron, as soon as everybody gets across the bridge here, we're going to pull off to the side and you're going to be able to go and I'll give you a signal. Well, and I, I, I also wanted to add thumbs up, ready to go. I've never seen anything like it. The, the other good option is that bunker is fine. It's a, it's a good miss for Roy for safety. I mean, but the way he's driving, incredible scene here. Come on, the purple! That is done the right hand side. And there's water over there. It's, gotta come it's back. smoked though. Oh, oh, that's right up near the edge. Oh. But it stayed up, I believe. Wow. If that ball's in the hazard, again, you get back to how the strategy completely changes now for these second shots for the pairing ahead. I, I don't think it's in the hazard, everybody's. No, it's, it's, it's safe. stayed up in the safe. grass, Jim. It's okay. The... Hmm. Very much like Rory's doing the world of golf now. It's like, uh, hello guys, I'm playing through. Yes, I'm he is. coming through. He's playing right on through <laughs> this generation. Here's Phil watching his tee shot. It's 
We all played in that stuff when we were young. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was saying it's what we used to play in this stuff as amateurs. You just got on with it. You came up the last in the dark. Ooh, it was that oh, close? Oh, yeah. It's plenty of room. <laughs> Jeepers. I can tell you that wouldn't have stayed up, but for the soft conditions. Yeah, there you go. How easily that could have. Just a little bit drier conditions hopped right. Now are they going to just go ahead and play in together? I don't think so. Are they? <laughs> What's the point if you don't? You let them hit up even with you anyway. Why make them wait out in the fairway? So Phil has nowhere to go anyway because we have Ustazen and Jason Day finishing up on the green. Well, very much like the Derby. Talk about sprint to the finish line. Mm -hmm. I mean, sprinting up 18 to just to get it in. Get up there and Phil will say, Rory, you've got uh, 205 to the hole. <laughs> Save your time getting the yardage. <laughs> Well, Phil's got 228, and he's going to go ahead and play as quickly as possible. This is a four iron, and it is really dark now. Now it's affecting your depth perception from your eyes to the ball. Yeah, it's much darker than what it appears on your screens at home. Again, we've opened up the irises on the cameras. We have no chance from right behind the green even seeing this golf ball coming here. Phil attacking. And... To say, Jim, I am surprised that uh, what is going on. But whether these guys think Rory's got it, he's not going to give up a two shot on the easiest hole on the golf course. Look at that ball up there. I know, hanging on the side of that hill. But with his length, he's, I said, "Oh, that was a good guess. It is 205. He's got 205, which would be about a six iron." Let's see if Ricky can. He's got 222, and now it's starting to rumble as well. So we got everything going on. This is a four iron. Getting dark. The conditions are breaking down, and Ricky needs to throw one in there tight. Got to get up. Scrapes across the corner. Well, yesterday at a putt, yeah, about the same length on the 18th for Eagle, and missed by an inch. So are they going to play up? The last is a four. Hey, okay. I'm on, dude. It's all right. It's only a major. <laughs> He's waiting for word from one of the officials. Well, they're going to get waved up once uh, Phil and Ricky get to the green. That's the official word. Yeah, you're right. That's like the normal call-up procedure that we have on tour and short fours. Uh, you get all the players on the green, the ball's marked, they stand on the back of the green, and uh, then you group behind will play up. Well, I think part of the issue is the weather's not supposed to be great tomorrow morning either. Well, and it's breaking down right now. There's threatening weather. Fast approaching. We need to ask the fans to all get their cell phones out like a Coldplay concert and, you know, we, we go by the glow. <laughs> I would take that as a sign that we would want an encore. And I got to tell you, yeah. I can't wait to see a whole lot more of this in the years to come. This is incredible. I mean, we have been treated to, I mean, what this man has now done 
three in uh, four years. No, it's not four. four years. It's yeah. Four yeah. Yeah. three four years and two months. It's going to be four majors. It looks very like four majors in three years. Then we got it into the breeze. All right, guys, we're good to play whenever. On that light there. On the light in the studio there. Caddy JP Fitzgerald has been on Rory's back since 2008 with Locke Loman. Prior to that, he worked for Ernie Els. He's from Dublin. Here's Wiesberger without a birdie today. This is a three iron, 231 yards. I heard some caddy say aim at the light of the studio. That's us behind the back of the 18th green. I'm not sure Phil is exactly thrilled about the way this is playing out at the 18th. Uh, no, he's not. He had a long conversation with the official. How will Rory play this one, David? Well, he's aiming it left. It looks like it might be a layup. Yeah. Yep, that's what it is. I think he's going to try to get the front edge in that left corner. Oh, oh. he made it in the bunker. Wow. That's a mighty long, that's a 35 yard bunker shot. Upper ridge. He you know. There's that wicked ridge there, just going out of, uh, which is significant. It will not run up it. It's got to. He's either got to throw it all the way up there, or intentionally play a, some kind of punch and run. Now they, uh, but they're going to be putting out in extremely dark conditions. That is almost. I have to say, that's something. As I'm looking out the window, that's like 50% lighter than what it really is out there right now. Yeah. Well, there's just been a bolt of lightning behind the clubhouse too. It's got oh. kind of gothic. Amazing right. finish here. Just this imagine is a chip, for, chip for Eagle. Yeah, just imagine if he holds it or yeah. Ricky makes his putt. This to tie the lead. He's going oh for it. Flag stick out. Cheapest. Incredible. Final round 66. Mickelson in at 15 under. And how close did he come? Play this game, we're looking for like a nice calm, hush, and tranquility to play the last mm. few holes of a major. My goodness. Now, Ricky's putt, Peter. Wake up. You can hardly see the break. This to tie the lead. It's got a memory from yesterday. Yeah, and it's going to race by. Jim, I've got the answer about the uh, Phil's. A actually, he was he was not very happy about them playing up the second shot. He was under the impression it was only going to be the tee shot. Rory was under the impression it was going to be all shots. and They were going to kind of play up as a four. So the oh. official had to tell him that uh, they were going to play their second shots up as well. And Phil was not happy about that. How would you have been in that situation, Nick? Yeah, this is rule. An awful lot going on, isn't it? I mean, you can understand if you if you're all meant to be playing in as groups, and is it would be deemed as you're helping another player, obviously trying to help him get in, but is it, you know, giving him an opportunity to, to basically play in a different light? Because if he played correctly, it would be darker, but then would Rory make the decision not to play? Ricky now to join Phil. In at 15 under for birdie. Oh, that's brutal. Hold everything all day. 
So Rory still has a really awkward bunker shot. One shot in his pocket. I really enjoyed it. Joey. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Dude, you need to watch that, and man. Ricky goes fifth, second, second, and third in the majors this year. Final round, 68. Well, he has a perfect line of the bunker, but I've got to tell you this. If he flies this all yeah. the way up and stops it, it might be the greatest bunker shot I've ever seen. No. Went for the runner. He's not going to get there. He's, He's going to have to two putt from there to win. In the dark. In the pitch dark. <sighs> it's almost what he had to do, you know, to, to take that shot on in the gloom. Yeah. Suppose he says right now, you know what? I'd rather come back tomorrow morning. I would. I would. I mean, I don't know how you read it from there. No. I mean, why, f why force it? We're gonna, we can actually show you how dark it is. There it is. That's the real picture. How would you like to try and win a major in that? Well, I guess if you dream of winning a major, it would be dark, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> that would be, in, be at night in your dreams. <laughs> One night with you. So uh, here it is for live. He could call it, but obviously he's not. The player has the right to say, you know what? I can't see. I want to mm. come back tomorrow. Well, there's one more to that point, guys, is that it's not the officials call whether yeah. or not these players get waved up. It's the players call. And so the officials have taken over what was a player's decision in this case, in my opinion. David Verity, you're down there. How hard is this one to see mm. two putts for the title? I just think he's going to lay it dead. Mm. Sure oh, is. you're not kidding. You don't even have to turn out the lights. That's right. He can see that one. <laughs> Going to be a third straight win. The Open Championship, World Golf Championship, and the PGA. All the world's best competing in those three events. It's going to be two straight majors. And just think what's coming next April to Augusta when he goes for the career Grand Slam and coming in perhaps and going after the the Rory Slam if he can go Augusta and U.S. Open. That's what that would be. Eastberger. Just a tough day. Had to be uncomfortable for him. Being in that rarefied air. And here we go to close out the year. In major championship golf, this is going to be your player of the year. And we have a shining star at sunset. Rory continues his run to greatness. the reaction yeah the intensity today was unbelievable if you're a youngster you want to you want to know about how to get in the zone and perform oh, just look at this man a final hole part was enough to beat Mickelson by one A second Wanamaker for McElroy. He won it in 2012 at Kiowa. Four majors. Fourth youngest to win for Tom Morris, young Tom Morris, Tiger, and Jack. The only ones younger by just a bit. And now with four. Joining names like 
Ernie Els and Ray Floyd and long Jim Barnes and Willie Park. I mentioned young Tom Morris, old Tom Morris, Willie Anderson. Hope it get his due now. Because in a lot of ways, I still think a lot of people on the fringe of the sport who don't follow the sport haven't recognized or realized that this kid is something special.